Then the prince replied. The conversation was going on between the prince, happy prince and the swallow. Then he replied that when I was prince, I was not at all aware about the misery and the sufferings of my subjects. And now I can see the entire kingdom from here because of the height where I am standing now. Then the prince, he requests the swallow <coughs> to do a favor for happy prince. He told Swallow that you have to do some work for me. I can see a poor lady. She is sitting beside the bed of her sick, sick son, ill son. She is so poor, she cannot afford the treatment of the son. So I would like to help her. So you take the ruby from my statue. With the help of your beak, you take and give it to her. And the swallow, she did, uh, he did that. He extracted the ruby and he silently kept beside the lady. One more incident, one day, the prince told and that lady she was a seamstress seamstress means a tailor she was a seamstress known as tailor sewing work very poor she had no money for the treatment so silently the solo kept the ruby beside that woman one more instruction the prince gave to the swallow but swallow had a plan to migrate to Egypt swallow already told that I have very short time I have to migrate to Egypt because the uh, winter shortly it is arriving I cannot stay in this uh, chilled winter intense cold every year I do my migrate but the prince request or he requested the swallow you do this favor then you migrate then you go I will not hold you then swallow agreed and the next case the prince was noticing he was seeing that a young man in his in a small room in the attic he's shivering a young man he's shivering with intense cold he has no money to buy coal to warm himself so he said swallow that you extract one of my eyes which is made of sapphire you go and give silently keep the sapphire to the nearer to the boy that young man swallow did that the third incident Happy Prince then once again, uh, the swallow once again, and uh, he was saying that I have to go. I have no time. You please leave me. But the prince once again requested, you please do this favor. Do this favor. You just extract one more eye. The swallow asked why. Because from here I can see a girl, a poor girl in this intense cold where the girl she is uh, she has no shoes and barefooted girl and she has no shoes to buy she has no cloth to cover her head in this cold just that it is the beginning of the cold later on what she will do she will die one more sapphire you extract from my this other eye it was made of sapphire one sapphire already given to that young man and one more eye you extract and give it to her swallow did that and 
the last what did happy prince do he told my entire body it is covered with gold leaf one by one you take out each leaf and distribute among the poor amongst the poor who are needy who are the sufferers who are leading miserable life you just distribute whatever i could not do when i was alive now this is high time i would like to help them i ignored these people solo he agreed and according to the instruction of the happy prince one by one one by one whatever the instructions whatever the happy prince he used to order the solo solo used to execute all the orders and instructions of the happy prince thus the prince was also quite happy but one by one all the gems precious gems jewelry gold silver ruby sapphire pearl because the statue of the happy prince is first studded with precious gold gems jewelry one by one one by one all extracted those were gone and the statue it has become shabby and dull there is no beauty it has become ugly shabby no eyes the sword which was decorated with gems there is no stone no gems visible on the sword happy prince entire dress all those gold leaves those are also extracted so happy prince now the statue which was previously so gorgeous so attractive used to it it, it used to glitter it has become shabby dull ugly looking but the prince now he is happy because now he is successful successful prince because he could fulfill his desire after his demise so guys this much up to here this is the synopsis half of the synopsis i don't want to pull this chapter unnecessarily time is there the next part i will tell you in my next lecture in my next teaching till then you go through the chapter if you want to read the entire chapter entire story well and good fine otherwise up to here you can read so on the basis of this synopsis i'm going to give you some questions and word meaning from the glossary from your book you can search or memorize and whatever the difficult words you will find just put underline put underline search the meaning of the words from dictionary hard copy from mobile whatever from where you want to underline the tough words difficult words whatever the words you feel those are tough or difficult underline search it out and note down in your copy so guys please note down some questions based on the chapter of today's teaching